Assalamu alaikum, my name is Dr. Junaid Jahangir Abbasi and I am Senior Registrar in Pediatrics at Raul Bandi Medical University. Today I am going to teach you how to plot weight on growth charts or how to plot height on growth charts. In an examination, if the examiner tells you that you have a 4 year old boy and his weight is 14 kg, please plot it on the growth charts. Then what do you need to do? First of all, understand that in a growth chart, you will have two axes. One is x-axis and the other is y-axis. On x-axis, there will be always different ages already plotted on them. Like 2 years, 4 years, 6 years, 8 years, 10 years and so on. On y-axis, there will always be already plotted weights on it. Let's suppose this is 10 kg, 12 kg, 14 kg, 16 and so on. Now, you will carefully listen to the examiner. You will listen what is the age of your patient and what is the age of, uh, what is the weight of your patient. Let's suppose he says he is 4 years old and his weight is 14 kg. Then what do you need to do? You need to put dots which I have already put over here. You need to put dots from 4, kg, four years point. This is 4 years point. You need to put dots vertically here. Then you need to put some dots from 14 kg point. This is 14 kg point. You need to put dot from here. Then you will see where these two dots join. They are joining over here. You will make a big dot over here. Big dot. Then you will see where this dot lies. These are different centiles. This is 90th centile. This is 75th centile. This is 50th centile. 25th centile. 10th centile. And 3rd centile. Now you will see where the final dot lies. In this case, the final dot lies at 50th centile. So you will tell the examiner that the weight of this four years old child lies at 50th centile. Let's suppose if your examiner tells that the boy is eight years old and his weight is 10 kg. Then you need to put dots from 8 and then you need to put dots from 10 and see where the final dot comes. Let's suppose here the final dot comes, then you will see where the final dot lies at which centile. This is the third centile, this is the lowermost centile, here is the final dot. You will say that the height of this child lies below third centile. Now let's suppose you have an obese child whose weight lies over here at this point then you will say that the weight of this obese child lies above 90th centile this is the 90th centile and this is the final dot which you have made after putting dots from here and after putting dots from here so here you will say that the weight of this child lies above 90th centile now if your examiner asks you to plot height of the patient then the Similar growth charts for height will be taken in which the age will be already on x-axis and on y-axis instead of weight there will be heights. Different heights will be written. And you will put the dots in the similar fashion as you have put them for the weights and then you will see at which centile the height of the child lies. And if the height lies not on one line but in between the two lines, let's suppose the height lies over here, then you will say that the height lies between 50th and 75th centile. Thank you so much.